What is up guys? This week I thought I would do something a little bit different and I would unbox a, oh there's my pupper. I thought I'd unbox uh, this new Euro bike that I bought. Thought it would be kind of cool and uh, the dogs obviously want to help. So uh, let's unbox it. It's like a foldable Euro bike. Seems kind of cool. All right, let's check it out. like when it comes it's all wrapped up it actually looks like it's packaged pretty well a lot of twist ties to get rid of I was kind of skeptical on buying this because I didn't know if it would actually look cool but it looks really cool I like it most of the foam off, uh, it's a pretty heavy bike, uh, but uh, it looks really cool. Now I gotta put the rest of it together, and I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we'll see. I'm guessing the pedals are in here, and maybe some other little doodads. Yeah, here are the pedals, you can see those. It looks like it's got a little air pump that it comes with, that's pretty cool. And then it's got these little reflectors. Hey, it comes with all the tools to put it actually together. That's pretty cool. More reflectors and yeah, basically more reflectors. An assembly instruction guide that looks pretty easy. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna put on the seat first because that seems like the easiest. The seat looks pretty cool. Looks kind of like a little bit of a racer design and it's pretty self-explanatory. You just drop it in there after undoing this latch right here, then squeeze it on in and then I'll adjust the height later, but there we go. So that's pretty easy. Next up, we'll do the pedals. So here's the pedals. Um, it's actually marked right and also marked right, so that makes it pretty easy and then it just kind of screws in just like so. I thought I was just gonna be able to screw it on right here, but it looks like you have to screw from right here. So that means we're going to need one of these tools. Right one is on, now we're just gonna do the left. So I'm screwing in the left side and uh, it's kind of counterintuitive because tightening is actually left, which is usually, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. This is lefty tighty, righty loosey. So this one's kind of weird. Um, so just watch out for that one. If you get frustrated and stuck like I did for like 30 seconds trying to screw it right, uh, I probably should have just followed the arrow that tells me which way to go, so. That's a thing. Pedals are on, they feel pretty good. So next we're going to move to the front contraption, which I kind of left for last just because it looks confusing and hopefully it's not as confusing as it looks. Let's do it. Working on the front, you wanna make sure that this black part right here is facing uh, the front and uh, then you can put on this part and it's just gonna screw right into here. To put the handlebars on, you're just going to unscrew these pieces and there's tools that came with it. You're just gonna unscrew those, take this front part off, and then you're gonna put this on and then you're gonna put this bracket right here back over. We're gonna put this on now. This basically goes in like that 
this bracket will go over it like that, and then we will screw the screws in. So that's kind of how you put that on. I'll adjust this a little bit whenever I actually go to ride it. Uh, but next up is going to be putting on the wheels and the brakes. This next part is probably gonna be easier with the bike flipped upside down, so I'm gonna flip it over really quick. So I'm a little concerned because I don't see any front brake pads to put on, but maybe I'm just being dumb and looking at this wrong. But anyways, next thing to do to put on the front tire is take this off. That's all good. Toss that to the side. And then the next thing we're going to do is put this wheel on. When you're putting on the wheel, make sure that this metal circular piece on the side is on the same side as the other circular metal piece. Uh, not the other side where the chain is. Once you get the tire down in, um, there are these little clip things that need to go into that hole, and that is just to keep the wheel braced in there, and then you can tighten it up, just like that. I had to take a break real quick, eat this oatmeal pie, cream pie? It's oatmeal cream pie, and this is giving me strong Honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibes right now. All right, let's get back to the bike. I got my wheel all screwed in. Uh, I just use this tool. So the weird thing is, I've never had a bike like this, but then again, I haven't had a bike in like two decades, is that the braking mechanism is not a brake pad. It is instead this disc thing that sounds like it kind of rubs on this thing, but I guess it's supposed to, but it slides right through there. And then when you brake, it grabs the metal um, right there and stops it. It's really weird. I've never had a bike that does that. They usually just have brake pads, but that's cool. Other than the reflectors, everything looks like it's on. So I'm just gonna flip this back over and tighten everything up, air up the tires, and then it should be good to go for a little bit of a test ride. Bike flipped. I'm not gonna put the reflectors on yet because I'm too lazy, but I am going to tighten everything up and air up the tires and that's pretty much it with building the bike it's fairly simple next up i'm going to show you a test drive or a test ride whatever let's get to it So I'm out on the trail, I'm trying it out. It's a pretty sweet bike. I really, really like it. Uh, the shocks underneath the seat feel really good. The only thing that I don't like, and this is not bike related, is that my like between leg area is super sore after just 10 minutes of riding. That's something I'm just gonna have to get used to because I haven't ridden a bike in over a decade, I guess. So far the bike is pretty good. It's kind of muddy now because just went through all of this, which my wife is trying to get through right now. It runs really great. Uh, run being rides, I don't know, it doesn't really run. Uh, but it's really sweet. I had to put this cushiony seat on it because like I said earlier, it's been hurting my gooch. Uh, but uh, it's pretty sweet, it's, it's a good bike. Uh, I got, the folding mechanism is actually pretty cool. Um, I did it earlier. Basically you just unlatch here, pull out, and then you lift up and then uh, it folds in and you can fit it a lot better. I used it on the regular bike rack earlier on the car, but um, I'm gonna use the folding mechanism later. So I definitely recommend getting this bike. It is pretty sweet. Um, I don't really have any major complaints about it other than my own faulty gooch, I guess. <laughs>